It's not financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment and educational purposes only. And anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube album stuff. So you get the videos I put them out. See, I'm thinking, see, man, I'm that data, but like I tell every day, the day they release us is false. I'm going to give us a false narrative of the market so we can make bad trading decisions. Listen, now, I don't have 100% proof of this, but I am hearing and reading that they are considering a 21 day ban on shorting bank shares okay i want y'all to think about this this banking crisis is a few months old a few months old and they're already considering a 21 day ban on shorting of bank shares now they've had no problem with them naked shorting AMC, GME, MULN, BBBY for the last 30 months. Had no problem with that. And you know why? Because the only ones losing money was retail investors and pension funds. They do not care about us at all. But the minute the banks start losing money, the, the minute the shark starts eating the sharks, they are planning on doing a 21-day ban on shorting of bank shares. Why don't they just shut down the dog pools altogether? If they did that, I believe 90% of the fraud and corruption in the market would stop overnight. But the fact that they're so quick to act on the shorting of banks... But when it comes to the shorting of stocks, they say it doesn't exist. But somehow it exists in the banking industry. It is absolutely crazy. It's absolutely outrageous. But it tells us, well, it tells me rather, it tells me that our regulatory agencies are not concerned about a fair and transparent market. They're not concerned about retail investors. They're not concerned about pension funds. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think that they are instituting a 21 day ban on the on shortening of banking stocks because they're more concerned about protecting the 1% than they are about protecting us retail investors? Anyway, have a great day. God bless and I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.